guys, welcome to Joy of the Trade. Today, I want to talk about something that's really captivated a lot of retail traders' attention, imagination, attracting money, speculation. And that's the short interest stocks that are ripping and then they do what they do. But I'm going to talk through the latest and the greatest, and then we're going to look at clues of what could be the next one. And I think a lot of people are going about this kind of incorrectly because they're falling in love with these companies and they're falling in love with these stocks, these Reddit stocks that the initial catalyst for the trade is good. And it's a quick way to get a quick pop and make a lot of money. But falling in love with these stocks might be the incorrect way to go about it. Let me show you what I mean. The latest and the greatest uh, GameStop type stock, if you will, meme stock, Reddit stock, short squeed stock, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this week was Microvision. And Microvision had this, this parabolic move here where it went, if we do, if we do a quick, let's do a quick back of the napkin analysis on this. It went, and then we're talking April 20th. It went up 177% by April 27th. And I'm, I'm filming this pre-market, but it's looking to open uh, down... It closed yesterday at $18, oof, four and a half dollars. Not a nice move, not a nice move. So another, another 25% or so. And gonna be back down here, which what is what looks to be a round trip. Well, why did that happen? Well, first of all, this move happened because this is a heavily shorted stock. And I'm gonna show you some, this great tool on Bloomberg that I use. And so they manufactured the same way they, they did that squeeze on GameStop, the same thing through the options, created this awesome move, right? But look how dangerous it is to sit. Once you get this move, you gotta hand the bag off. You gotta get out of the trade and look for another one because another one's coming. But invariably what happens is people come late to the game, they're late money, they're the chasing crowd, and they bought this stock, uh, falling in love with it because that's what people do. And these guys did an earnings report. They had earnings this week, yesterday, actually. And they were expected to lose two and a half cents and they lost four cents, which is not great for a stock that just moved 177%. So we're going back and we're looking at this and there's gonna be a lot of people in a lot of pain. What it does from here, I'm not so concerned with. It can go up, it can go down. It's done its move in my opinion. Uh, it's done its craziness in my opinion. It's done this and now it's doing the round what we call, what us, you know, old veteran traders, a little bit cynical, call a nice round trip. Most expensive ticket in the world is the round trip. But anyways, we can look here. I have this other tool that is called short interest analyzer, right? So the idea of this is that you're not falling in love with these stocks. You're not investing in these stocks. You're just going to be there for that momentum move that's going to happen with, with, uh, with, with the short interest pop. And so what I like to look at is I like, to, so let's look at this Russell 2000 because there's a lot of small obscure companies in this. And first I want to organize it by percent of float. So these are heavily shorted stocks. Okay. What does short interest percent of float mean? It means that of all the stock that is actively traded, that's outside of the treasury of a company that you can buy, half of it is short. So if you look at this, the next thing I want to look for is the short interest change. So we're looking for high, highly shorted stocks already that have had a huge increases, huge increases. So Workhorse is an interesting stock. Workhorse has 34% of their float uh, is short, and they've had an 11% short interest change, which is big for, you know, it's a big company. There's 38, not, I mean, relatively speaking to the Russell 2000. And so if we look at Workhorse a little bit more underneath the hood, this is a stock that could be another, could be another pop. This, this is a stock that you could see short interest increase and they could generate another squeeze in this. So instead of falling in love with the meme stocks, with the Reddit squeeze place, Deliver the bag if, you get, if you're so fortunate enough to get in one that pops and move on to the next one because it's constantly changing and there are people like me that are scanning and looking at tools uh, to help you do that. So if you guys like this video, please like it. If you learned something about short squeezes, subscribe to Wealth Press.
I'll be talking more about this a lot in the coming weeks, in the coming months. LFG, guys. I'll see you soon.